Good morning, it's nice to see you this morning. I took last Thursday off, had a bit of a rest day and uh, so it's a whole week since I've done one of these and oh, I had lots of things I could think about saying and uh, but I've picked one because one is enough uh, but I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed about it. Last week was quite a tough week actually. Um, three beloved parishioners passed away and uh, you know, to lose one would be enough. To lose three, you know, that hurts. That's really hard. And I pray daily for their families and for all those who mourn their loss. And I pray for those who are missing other loved ones. Yeah. And I've been reflecting on that a little bit. And it's coincided as well with me thinking it's about time I shared my crochet with you. So some of you will know that at the beginning of the year I made a commitment to uh, crocheting a temperature blanket. The idea is that you cast on a certain number of stitches for however much crocheting you think you want to do and I decided I wanted to do a double blanket and then every day you crochet one row and the colour of the wool is determined by the temperature outside the weather. So, would you like to see it? I can't believe I've stuck at it. I have done a row of crocheting every day for nearly seven months and the blanket is growing. So let me show you. It started off, well, how can I do this? Here we go. This is the bottom edge here. This is the bottom edge here. And you can see that and the pale green means it was quite chilly and the darker the green then the warmer and actually we know we had a really mild winter didn't we so that uh, there we are look very little blue which was the really cold blue would be below zero that was the color decision i made lots of pale green as we go up and then into february we're getting darker greens and the yellows start to come and yellows go into oranges, dark green is cooler than orange. And we had this really stinking hot week, didn't we? Just um, in April, and that's the dark pink. And I'm now in heavily into oranges and reds. And some of those yellows are the slightly colder days. So look at that. It's huge! And I'm not, well I am halfway through aren't I? Oh, just pick up the wool which is now all tangled in my chair, we'll sort that out later. So it's huge! And and of course it did not work very well, I, knit, I crochet at the end of the evening and because uh, then I know what the best temperature for the day has been. So I then sit there in the warmth of the evening covered up in this great big blanket trying to crochet the next row. But you know what? I've never crocheted before the 1st of January and I've taught myself all sorts of different stitches and patterns and then I've even got some bobbly bits. Not bad is it? Now if you told me at the beginning of the year that I was going to make a blanket big enough to put on a double bed I'd be yeah right because I haven't got the patience or the stamina or the self-discipline for that. But the commitment is to one row a day. That's all I have to do, one row a day. And I think that's a pretty good philosophy on life, don't you? All we have to do is today. All we have to commit to is getting through today. And I saw a funny little cliched thing that said that um, out of all your bad days so far, you've survived 100% of them. That's a pretty good statistic, isn't it? So I come full circle back to those people who are grieving and feeling lost and lonely and anxious and I might suggest to you that you only have to do today. All we are asked to do is one day at a time. I can knit a blanket, a crochet blanket, the size of which was daunting if I just tackle it one day at a time. And we can get through our toughest days one day at a time. The Lord's Prayer helps us with that. There's a line in it. Give us each day our daily bread. That's asking God for the strength to get through the day. 
Give me what I need today to survive today, to make today work. Every single day. And that's why we're invited to pray the Lord's Prayer as often as we do, because every day we need to ask for that strength to be given the daily bread that we need to get through each day. And so my prayer for you today is that you will find something that helps you get through the day, something that makes this day a good one and something that allows you to rest in God, knowing that you are loved and that you are precious and that you are worth. I hope you have a lovely day today. Keep in touch and I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love. Bye bye.